They say a picture is worth a thousand words. Well, I would agree with that. <laughs> um, recently, I had a brother send me a picture. I'll show it. This uh, news article. Uh, there was some kind of a baseball game thing, charity fundraising type of deal. Look at the guy who's leading the prayer. <laughs> you know, it's like, okay. He's got this baseball uniform that says Jesuit on the front. You know, it's just like, sure, why not? Yeah, you know. <laughs> Jesuit leading the prayer at a baseball game. Yeah, sure. But, uh, and uh, so I was like, I wonder what school, you know, has this baseball uniform that says Jesuit. And so I was checking around online and things. There's a bunch of different Jesuit colleges and high schools and things. And they, you know, have baseball shirts, the Jesuits and things. And, and I found this one and I thought, okay, I got to save that one. I got to share it with the brethren, brethren for a good laugh. Here it is. Check this out. <laughs> Jesuit demons. Yeah. How about that one? That's, I thought that was pretty intriguing you know so i like that one that's you know lord kind of worked that one out there i think I had somebody snap a picture of that one but you know uh just i've seen again their new viewers that come along and they say what you know what's the jesuits what's what's that whole thing about um just to give you another little uh thing here uh let's see where's the book at right here you want a really good book probably the best book in print i would say on the jesuit order is this one right here, the Secret History of the Jesuits by Edmund Paris. Okay, the Jesuits were intimately involved in the Nazi regime. Hitler actually talked about patterning a lot of the SS after the Jesuit order. Um, the Jesuits were founded in, I think it was 1540, by a man, Ignatius or Ignatius, or how, there's different ways you can say it. Um, Ignatius Loyola, de Loyola, uh, he was from Spain, Spanish royalty. He was in a war, and uh, he had got hit in the leg with a cannonball. He, so he went from being a soldier to basically, you know, going through these mystical experiences and things, and became like this, you know, essentially like a, a monastic monk or something, and had all these things happening to his brain, he, crazy in the head. And he came up with this idea because the Reformation was very strong at that time. And he came up with an idea for a counter-Reformation to bring all people back to Roman Catholicism. And this is their admitted history, by the way. Uh, they wouldn't say he was crazy. Of course, they would say he, he was receiving visions from God or something. But um, the counter-Reformation is a known part of history. The Jesuits are all about bringing everybody, all governments, subjugating them and bringing them back under Roman authority. Uh, that's what the Jesuits are about, and they are demons. Um, the spiritual exercises, I've read it. It's mind control. Uh, it's some really, really messed up stuff. The current Pope, Pope Francis, is a Jesuit. If you don't, if, Again, if you're new to all this, um, they have the white Pope, the Pope Francis, and then they have the head of the Jesuit order is known as the Black Pope. Of course, he tries to you know, drop that title now and things, the, the newest Black Pope. But uh, they take you know, oaths and things of, of allegiance to the Jesuit order, and they'll put them into all sorts of different things. There's Jesuit-trained movie actors. The president of the United States right now, Donald Trump, is Jesuit-trained. Um, you know, there's just Jesuits, Jesuits, Jesuits. They're just, and they're all trained to basically be, uh, to infiltrate different organizations and systems and basically destroy things to you know, destroy people's morals because morally corrupt people are a lot easier to control than those that have strong morals. Bible-believing Christians are very hard to control as a people. So you destroy the morality of nations and things. You destroy them economically. You destroy their health. You destroy everything. And then you can control them much easier. And that's what the Jesuits are all about. Uh, there have been so many assassinations down through the centuries. Um, you know, from the Jesuits, again, admitted history, the gunpowder plot, with the members of parliament, uh, under, with King James, they tried to, you know, Guy Fawkes Day, if you've ever heard of that, Guy Fawkes was Jesuit trained, and he was going to go in there and assassinate, you know, the king and the members of parliament to stop the translation of our King James Bible. Facts. These are facts, historical facts. Um, and the Jesuits just, they're a very, very wicked organization. And um, definitely they're the ones that control things. Uh, don't don't fall for this nonsense that the Jews are somehow in control of the whole world and the Jews are the powerful ones. 
the Jews are in subjection. There are powerful Jews, but they are all in subjection to, subjection to the Jesuit order. Every single last one of them. So, that's going to be it for this little video. I just thought I'd share a little funny thing there and some advice for you uh, if you are newly saved and you've not heard of the Jesuits. There's a real good uh, Jack Chick comic. Um, let me see if I can get grab this thing here quick. Another great way to learn about the Jesuits. Uh, here you have one, um, the Crusader comic series. You have the one on the how the Bible is being changed. Okay, right there, sabotage. Here's the one on uh, Islam, how Catholicism created Islam. Okay, that's Alberto, part six. Alberto Rivera was a Jesuit priest that actually came out and uh, came out of the Jesuit system uh, and, you know, helped to expose a lot of what they did. Angel of Light, talking about the devil. You know, he appears as an angel of light. Second Corinthians chapter 11. Spellbound, about the occult. Uh, music thing, industry. Johnny Todd stuff here. Uh, very good. Alberto, the story of Alberto Rivera as a young boy. You know, these are, these are all available from Chick.com. Um, and I recommend them. Uh, simply because they have just such good information in them. Alberto Part 2, called Double Cross. Very, very good. Alberto Part 3, this really gets into a lot of the what the Jesuits have done and what they are doing. The different popes. Alberto Part 4, there you go. The force, force is an occult, an occult uh, um, name for Satan. Another way that they say Satan. Uh, interesting with the Star Wars thing. The may the force be with you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Four horsemen there. Got a couple of copies of the Muhammad's Believe It or Else by Abdullah Aziz. Pretty funny. Show a lot of the really weird things about uh, Muhammad and Islam. Uh, let's see here. I thought I had one of those. Yeah, there it is. And this one here is on the whole Society of the Jesuits. And you know, the reason he brings these out as comic books is because it's a it's a just an easy to read quick reading type of a thing where you can learn a lot about the Jesuit order and you know he offers you know the quotations and stuff it is footnoted and gives you you know historical you know documents to back it up and things um, just in case you want to know about that stuff but there's plenty of things out there uh, Eric John Phelps's uh, Vatican assassins I think it's over that way so I can't show it but uh, you know there's there's a lot of information on the Jesuits is the whole thing so um, just wanted to say that because I did see somebody in the comments recently said about who are the Jesuits. Well, and you know, some people don't know about the Jesuits. Um, they're a very deadly organization. And of course, they're going to burn in hell just like any other sinner. You know, I understand that. We wrestle not against flesh and blood. I get that. But, uh, you know, as Christians, we have to stand up against them and speak out against them. So look out for Jesuit demons at the baseball field. I had another brother write me, and, and he showed me this thing of the uh, owner of the Dallas Cowboys uh, football team. He's going to be inducted into the Football Hall of Fame, and he's like over at the Vatican, you know, hanging out with the Pope and things, and, and you know, giving him a jersey and, you know, football jersey and all this stuff. <laughs> you know, I mean, when you realize, when you start to study Roman Catholicism and you start to look at what all... Catholics are involved in and things like this, you realize how massive the system is. It is it is Mystery Babylon. I mean, it's just like the videos I did exposing it prove it conclusively. I mean, there's just no argument. But then when you actually study the truth, you realize this person's a Catholic. You look at all these key people, Catholic, 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 Catholic. And by the way, anytime you see an SJ behind some Catholic priest's name, that means Society of Jesus. You're dealing with a Jesuit. So, just wanted to say that.
just bring that out. So that is going to be it. Thank you very much for watching.